Hello, and in this video, we are going to be continuing on with the Excel basics and learning how to enter data into our Excel spreadsheet. And specifically, we will be entering text data and numeric data into this spreadsheet. So let's start with the uh, text data. So in this, we are going to be creating a little budget as is indicated on the tab at the bottom. I already named this tab budget. So we're gonna start with that. So in a budget, normally the column, it's a, it's a, it's a spreadsheet, which is useful for Excel. Uh, the column headings are usually the time periods. So I'm going to start in cell B2 and I'm going to make it for January, February, March and April. So January, February, March, and April. So we've got those four months. Now, um, those are the column headings. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna put the row, the, the different rows, so the different categories of expenses that we're going to budget for. So in this case, we are gonna say food, entertainment, rent. Okay, so those are the three categories that we've got at this point. Now, uh, one thing that you'll immediately notice is that this entertainment was bigger than our column. So it looks like it's spilling over into column B. It's really not. It's, it's all of it is contained in cell A4. It just, Excel just spills it over so you can see all of it, but it's, it's not the way we, this is going to be uh, a little messy for our format. So what you can do whenever this happens is you can, if you put your, your cursor up between the two columns, you'll see the shape of it change. And then you can drag the column over and it increases the width of the column. So that's something you can do. I'll show you another way, which is I'll just undo that change, is what you can always do is put it in that spot and then just do a quick uh, double, click, double click. It just takes me one more time there. It just took me a couple of tries to, to get it to work there. That's it, it increases it automatically. So that's just a, a little something you can do. Um, now, in terms of some formatting tips is that the column headings, we would like to uh, be bolded, just that the off, often headings are bold. So if we highlight the cell and click on the bold icon, that makes that bold. Now, we want to do this for all, all four of these, so these, these three, three more. Now, we could do that individually for each one, but that could get a little bit of work if there was a, a lot of columns. So instead, what we can do is we can um, we, we can define a, a whole, what is known as a range. So by dragging across, we define a range of cells. And then if we make those bold, uh, they'll all be bold. So that, that just saves a little bit of time. The other thing we, that, that uh, we're, we're going to do here is we're going to, you notice that these cells are left justified. They, um, that's, and that's the default for text and for text uh, data is it will be left justified in the cell. And in this case, I'd like them to be centered. So what we can do is again, define the range of all four cells. And then this icon is align center. And so that makes that look, uh, look like that, which is, which is nice. Okay, so that gives us that, gives us that information. And so, at this point, we can now start entering. So that is the entry of some text information. Let's enter the actual budget numeric information. So let's say for January, we assume $100. We will need, because we're, we're, we're coming in partway in January, we might have some food that we're bringing and so on. In February, we think that it will be $130. We might need to buy a little bit more. I'm just tabbing forward as I go. Uh, March, we figure another $130. And April will be a lighter month because uh, we're not going to be there the whole month. So that's $50. Um, entertainment, we're saying, is $50 for each month. 
Now I could go and type $50 across each one, but there's another way to do that is that you can use the copy function to, to copy them across. There's many ways to do this, but here's, here's a couple. One is anytime you have a cell and you want to copy it to um, uh, adjacent um, cells, you can grab this little box at the very bottom right corner and drag it across and that will copy them. I'll just undo that. The other way you could do it is to copy and then define the range that you'd like to paste to. That's another way to do it. So there's, there's always various, various ways. So that's for entertainment. And then for rent, let's say that it's $500 for January, $500 for February, but you're aware of an increase in your rent coming in March uh, and April. So there we have some some numbers that we've that we've entered uh, into our budget. So this is this is useful. This is now we now have we now have uh, text and numeric input. Notice that the numbers right justify is that that's the standard for that, and that's normally what you want. Normally, numbers uh, will line up on the on the right side. Now. Um, the next thing up is we, we did some formatting on the text. Let's do a little bit of formatting on the um, on the numbers. This is not doesn't really look like a like a like a, a currency. It looks more just like a like whole numbers. Usually, currency has um, the, uh, do, the the cents. This is the dollars. We need the cents as well, the decimal points, um, as well as the the indication of currency. So you can do that again on the home tab. We click down here. There are some standard currencies that we can select. So you can select the United States, uh, the UK pounds, euros, and so on. There's 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 many. Or we can, uh, and I'm going to show you this, which is we can go to the number format. We're going to click on currency, and so this gives you complete control on on what your currency. Uh, is going to is going to look like we let's take two decimal places we'll have the dollar symbol and this shows you how negative numbers will be treated so i'm just going to go with the default here and you can see that this has now been formatted as a hundred dollars point zero and this mo looks much more like currency so we're going to do that for all of them i'm just going to select them all again it's okay to reformat this that's okay to do that just do the same thing and we'll press OK. And now we have nicely formatted uh, currency. Now, a couple of things. Um, you're, you're at this point, you might say, oops, I forgot something. Um, I forgot that I need to buy a bus pass. So we want to insert a role. We could put it at the bottom, but let's say you wanted to put it but after food. Well, that's an insert function. So. That's not hard to do. Just click below where you want to insert the new row. So I want it between three and four. And then you go up to this insert button. Now you can click the down arrow and there's, it'll, this is the one we want, right? But based on what we've done, Excel knows what we want to do. So we just have to click there and it and inserts a nice blank new row. So we will put here plus pass. And that is $75. And it's a one-time one -time payment for the entire term. So the formatting is formatting those as dashes. That's a, that's a form of, of uh, 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 based on the format that we, uh, that we chose, that's what Excel is defaulting to. And we'll, so that's fine in this case. Okay, so then, that's that's all good. Then another thing we might go is, oh, wait, I forgot books. So we could say, hmm, let's see. Now I could do the same thing. Let's say we wanted to put it in this row, in row seven. We could do that. But here's another thing you can do is you can copy other rows. You can do a copy and paste. So let's say, well, our books are kind of very similar to this. So let's take this and copy. And then we're going to paste it here. Now, just paste it. We don't want two bus passes, passes, but we can change this to books. And let's say that our 
our uh, budget for that is $150. So it was a little bit easier then to retype the whole thing in. Um, and so that is the entry of our information. Now, just to prepare for our next our next video, there's there's a couple other things that we're wanting to do. Is we in our next video, we're going to calculate the totals of each column and of each row. Um, and so what we're going to do is to start to enter the text for those. So we're going to enter the total row. Okay, and we're that bold. Okay, and we are going to create. A, a total column as well. So we just created a total row. We're going to create a total, total column. Okay, now remember on these ones, we centered them and bolded them. And we're going to do one more thing as we, in addition to the total of our, of our food and then the total of our bus pass, we'd like to know our average monthly cost for each of those. So I'm going to, I'm going to create an average column. So we're going to we're going to create that and so we will just again bold it and center it and we will uh, that's something that'll set us up for the next time. Lastly, the last thing we're going to do is this we're we're missing a title here. This is this is a budget but we don't have a title. It's normally good to put a title on the on the top. So we're going to indicate okay, we're going to call this my winter term budget. We put that all into B1, but now it's it's kind of off center there and it's it's not as not as good. So what you can do is you can we really like it to be centered completely over columns B to G. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little little trick here is you can se select all of the columns and then you can click on something called merge and center. That creates one cell that goes across all of those columns and centers it, which is kind of what we want. Uh, what we can do is bold that and maybe let's make it a little bigger. So we'll make it 12, 14 font. You know, let's keep it at 14 font. So that's that that's nicely formatted now. So that's the that's the entry of, of information. So in summary, we entered text, we entered numbers. And we saw some uh, some formatting options, as well as inserting, copying, and deleting uh, rows. So that's some some things that'll be uh, useful. And that's the end of this video, and we'll uh, continue in the next.